Okay. Hi. Hello. Welcome back. Hi, we're back. We're back. It's been, uh, we are recording this in the daytime. In the morning. Which is unusual for us. Yes. But we woke up and wanted to be back in Ireland um, immediately. Pretty much, yeah. So, okay. so uh, I hi. ate Hello. a bowl of granola. <laughs> hi, we're back. We're back. Uh, the, it's been, uh, l- l- it was a fucking trial. I'll be honest. It was very yes. crunchy. It was crunchier than I was expecting. Yeah. The yogurt that I put in, in was very stodgy. Um, yeah. So, well, much, so it was yeah. sort of a so, campaign. Uh, yeah, you you put in all the granola that you mm, wanted to uh, eat. The, too much. And then I, yeah, it was too much. I tried to give you an appropriate <laughs> ratio of mm yogurt mm. the yogurt we have right now is greek yogurt which See, this is, is the, the mistake would you have preferred the coconut yogurt probably yeah but this was my fault for putting too much granola it was in. anyway so that took 45 minutes <laughs> um and now here we are now here we are uh we are moving on to councils my maybe my favorite bit of crusader kings so, so I'm we're gonna continue um reading out loud this tutorial so yeah. that you don't have to Um, so councils. Managing a realm is a lot of work. As a ruler, you have the help of your council. These can be either vassals or members of your court, and they act as your trusted advisors. Babies. Babies. Cat intends to make a, well, and me, intends to make a council full of babies. Yeah. Which I know we can do. half babies, I think, at least. Because it's funnier to me... If if it's just like Michael of Normandy, who is an adult, and then... There is one corresponding to each area of skill. Married rulers will also have their spouse assisting them. Oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Because you can also make your spouse a council member, I think. Mm. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind if... uh, Oh, yeah, look. She's just on here as well. Incredible. Yes. Counselors can be set to work, and they all do different things. You can change a counselor's task by clicking on the button near their portrait in the council view. Can I move this over? I can't. No. Being a counselor is a prestigious position. Powerful vassals will expect to be chosen they for sure it. Will. <laughs> and will be unhappy if left out. So let's just peep who we've got. We got wife. So Our yes. treacherous villain wife. Our wife, Duchess Petty Queen Rosalyn. Our wife, the treacherous villain. Uh-huh. She's Excellent. So good. <laughs> She's amazing. Something we learned. Is the the, uh, the main menu, which I don't know if you've seen in this in this LP, uh, is just a, a room with characters standing in it, and the when characters we began, that are, it was three randos, three randos, and now they are the key players in this save, which it's, is great. It's Chad, Chad's son Brian, and Petty Queen Rosalind. It's so good, incredible. Here we have a bishop who looks like he's covered in blood. Bishop LR, is he the one who's here? Uh, I think he is. Uh, no, he is. If I click he's on just him, one of our bishops lo- located in Thomas. in Thomas. He's just in our court. Okay, uh, but yeah, he doesn't he... quite like us, I think, because he is. Oh, he's, he's gluttonous. gluttonous. He's a gluttonous bishop. Also, he's absolutely covered in blood. Oh, is he a warrior bishop? I think it's. Click to view. Let's see. Oh, it's no, his, it's like, his print. It's the print. He's lowborn. Interesting. What does this mitre with the thumbs down next to it mean? Um, oh, he does not endorse me. Uh, since Ilar's opinion of you is plus one or less, you can you, you you gain no levies and taxes from his church holdings. Interesting. Interesting. Cool. He, he has one title, which is just the bishop. Oh, he's another he's treacherous a villain. Baron, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What are his traits? Gluttonous. Uh, he is gluttonous. He is callous, and he is deceitful. Oh my God! We have he a and comp- Rosalyn <laughs> are two peas in a pod. He's also an astute intellectual. Rosalind what is married Rosalind this bishop is and then a overthrows. skilled tactician. Yes, whatever Rosalind does, I personally endorse. And here's so that so he does not endorse us at all. Uh, then we have Earl Ragenwald, who runs who uh, runs. Almonds. Ormond. Oh, whoa. Neat little bit of UI letting us know that it's connecting this earldom of Ormond to... Huh. Oh, um, wow. Like the, vassal, the vassalization yeah, of this Yeah, and it didn't, it didn't ha- happen Cause here because he's already there, but his little UI element. Yeah. Um, That's oh, amazing. I should say, yes, I, well, I'm worried uh, if I say I understand. Yeah. 
So uh, Earl Ragenwald does not like us. We discussed this before. For a bunch of reasons. Of all these different reasons. We are just... We are not alike at all. Oh, his mom is still alive. 64. Great. A rapacious oh, planner. A we got a baby here. Oh, a baby. Olaf. He's, he's, he's zero. This is no Donald to me. No. He's the son of my enemy. <laughs> um... Then That's we good. have Mayor Dolgus. Oh, this is the Baron who lives, who, 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 who runs the, the town. He's the mayor of this town up here. Yes. Mayor of Dolgus of Venice, city of Venice. Mayor Dol, Mayor Dolgus of Venice. Of Venice. Okay, and he, oh, he's a dog. He's trusting. That's nice. He's a rational villain. He's sadistic. Oh, Interesting. Interesting. He's a sadist. He's a trustful sadist. That's yeah. nice. And calm. Oh, dear. I'm quite frightened of him. <laughs> Takes things in stride, leading a slow-paced life. He's quick to place his faith in others, but few things bring Dolgus as much joy as the suffering of others. Interesting. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, Dolgus, steward of Venice. Uh, then we have our marshal. Our brother. Our brother. Our brother. But not the brother who is the father of Donald. Donald. And then, and he's in charge of our army? Uh, yeah. As our marshal? Yes. God, all these tooltips rule. As our steward, he's the counselor in charge of domain administration, for example, matters of taxation, culture, and development. As a chancellor, he's in charge of diplomatic efforts, both inside and outside the realm. And our spy master, ho ho ho. Our cousin. Is our cousin. Um, beware of having a disloyal spy master, for they can easily conceal and participate in murders against you and your close family. One. Yeah, should we give him a quick gift? Yeah, why not? He is greedy. He is greedy. And vengeful. And vengeful. And deceitful. And a charismatic negotiator. A master of persuasive rhetoric and the nuances of diplomacy. Tortlebach is an excellent diplomat. Um, you could marry him to someone useless. Oh, we could. Do you think he'd like that? I think he would hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we can... I... I'm worried about the sway menu at this point, because that's kind of scheming. And... Yeah, I'm just going to send him a gift of money. And then he will gain 44 opinion. Mm. Pay 150 gold. That's quite a lot. That is a lot. He's 57. He's, he, but by that I mean he, he he's... He's about to die. Oh, no, I mean, he's not going to... He's asking for a lot, because he's like, I'm not like some green yeah. new spy master. I'm not some baby. I'm not one of these babies yeah. that you keep seeing. Oh, interesting. That's... Uh, if our spy master kills us, he'll kill us. Yeah. Maybe just get to play as that's, Brian. That's fine. So, every... Oh, they'll probably tell us. Ah, no. We should open the castle again. So, each of these can do a thing. Or, what? Three things. Yeah. They have these They have these tasks that they can perform. Yes. Which are in these little circles. Uh, and we can mouse, they are either active or passive tasks, and we can mouse over them to see what they do. So bishops can uh, increase rules of opinions of us, convert, convert people. faith in county, but he cannot perform this task because there are no valid targets. He can fabricate a claim on yes. county. Jack is very excited about this. Um, okay. So we could say, hey, Desmond, our bishop says... Oh, we already have a claim on Desmond. We could say, you know, one of these places. Got it. But we would lose some piety. The vassals and the target would be upset with us, but we, I don't think, care. Yeah. Collect taxes, increase development in county... Speeds up building. culture, foreign affairs, domestic affairs... Integrate title. These, I my brain is starting to get overwhelmed by them. I just understand that they can do things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You and so I'm going to move. Spy masters because they're cool. Oh, okay. Um, disrupt schemes, support schemes, 
find secrets. If any secrets exist at court. Oh. oh, wow. We're just going to send him to find some secrets? Find secrets in our court. Wow. Okay. Great. And he's here for five months. Five months. Great. He's, he's in our court for five Looking months. Looking for secrets. I'm not worried. Will he tell them to us? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Um, okay, schemes are long-term goals aimed at another character. They can have hostile goals like murder or abduction of your target or be more wholesome, such as the befriend scheme. Okay. Great. This is the scheme step. A good time to use a scheme might be when you find the line of succession not being as clear-cut as you'd like. One way to get ahead is to simply remove the competition. Quietly with no witnesses. Murder schemes come with the risk of discovery. If your attempt goes awry, it will make your character unpopular, especially with your sure. target. That makes sense. Right kick on your court chaplain and choose the sway scheme. Is he, he's our bishop. This is our guy, your bishop. Oh, your quote, bishop. Choose the sway scheme. Uh huh. I have. We did. I mean, start scheme. Open the council view. Right click on your court chapel. Great. I did it. Excellent. Once set in motion, your scheme will slowly progress over time. The time before a conclusion is reached will vary depending on its success chance, which can be affected by relevant skills. In this case, it, it is affected by your diplomacy. Not mm. super at that, but... Not super. We're not super at diplomacy. Our diplomacy is six. Brackets. Poor. poor. <laughs> yeah. Um... The time before a conclusion is reached, yes, yes, yes. If you are unhappy with your scheme, you can always cancel it by clicking the Abandon Scheme button next to the scheme. So we can go back to opening the intrigue menu. So what is this percentage here? This is the our success chance. Okay. Our, our level of diplomacy gives... So the, the base chance for this is 50%. Yes. And then it's affected by our diplomacy, which we get a 12%... Or, or sorry, a 12... I guess 12, yeah, 12% 12 um, boost. Great. Yeah. And it'll take us 19 months to do. Yeah. Sometimes schemes can give rise to secrets. If you catch someone trying to commit murder, it's probably in their best interests to make sure you keep quiet. You can also blackmail them to gain a hook. Hooks represent a favor you can call in with a particular character, encouraging or forcing them to do your bidding. As you play, you'll find many different ways to gain and use hooks. When you start playing, experiment with it. Ooh. Inspect the hooks and secrets. Just pretend you've managed to get a hook on one of your vassals. Oh. Hmm. So this weak hook on Earl Ragnvald uh, can be used for any number of things. One is to increase the obligation set by the feudal contract you have with a feudal vassal. To access the menu for changing your feudal contract, go to your vassal list in the realm view, or right-click on his portrait to choose Modify Feudal Contract. Where is the vassal list? Who knows? Uh, in I don't know. Oh, is it one of these? Is it that? That's no, the court. court. Council, military, realm. It could oh, be, under, it realm. be under realm. Yeah, here yeah. We so... And then in here, is there a way that I can get to it without uh, right-clicking on maybe. him? No, that's oh, our no. hook. Um, I'm just going to do... Oh, feudal... Uh, oh, if I'm there's a way sure. to do it like this. I love that it says we have a hook, so it will help us with these. Yeah. Okay. You may notice that some interactions are not immediately visible. This is because when you have many interactions available, the character interaction menu only displays the most common ones. To display missing interactions, click the more button in each Vast Legend Court category. Yes. Okay. Oh. Oh, goodbye. Let's put the screws on him though, right? Well, I think it's a, f it's a fake No, we still have it. Hook. Oh.
Hmm. So, interesting. We could use this hook this so cool. to increase our taxes, couldn't we? Yeah, or our levies. Which might be good because we're about to go to right war. Right now but... they're at normal, I think, and we could say put them to high. This is an act of tyranny causing your subjects to lose 20 opinion of you. What happens if we hit use hook? Will he lose oh. less opinion of us? Oh. Yes. Well, can we make them extortionate? No. No. Oh, they have to be adjacent. Interesting. So you can't just go... From one to <laughs> another to an extreme. Yeah. What if we use this? No, that would make him upset. But let's modify that. Yeah, he'll lose opinion of us, but he hates he us He already anyway. hates us. Okay, great. Right click to hide. Okay. War is an essential part of Crusader Kings. There are a lot of concepts to cover. <laughs> 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 but for now, let's touch briefly on some of them. The rest and the details we will let you discover oh, as you start your playing. Your favorite way of doing tutorials. It really, truly is. So... The most important things in any war are the battles, which are fought by armies. Most of your soldiers will come from levies, but you can expand your army by employing men-at-arms. Those professional soldiers. They're great. They all have characters, too. Oh, good. And they, have diff they excel at different types of terrain. Okay, open the military view. Great. So, God, this yes. UI design is so much better than CK2. <laughs> If things get really tough, you can also hire mercenaries, provided you have the gold. Next. When a war start, when a war starts, you will be able to raise your armies from this screen via Raise All Armies button. You love to see it. Ah, uh, yes, up here. When the war is over, you will have to disband your soldiers before starting another war. Rally points are mustering grounds for the levies and men-at-arms under your command. To start a war, you'll need a legitimate reason, a casus belli against another ruler. There are various ways to obtain a casus belli. You might have a du jour title that makes you the rightful liege of your Which target. we do. We do. Mm -hmm. You might inherit claims, or you could pursue holy wars against nearby infidels. Although these are the most common, there are dozens <laughs> of different types of casus belli for you to discover and use as you play. The easiest and most straightforward way to acquire claims is to use Fabricate Claim on County. God, it's so good. This is something your court chaplain sees too through one Just of his like, counselor tasks. Can I have Connacht? Yeah, all right. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Almost there. Unpausing. Soon, we'll let you it's unpause so the game. Almost there. Oh, so close. There are just a few things to go over first. Firstly, it's important to, to know that, the, that there are five different speeds available for you to play. Press keys one to five to easily switch between them, and you will be able to pause or change the pace whenever you want. Secondly, for certain important events, the game will auto-pause for you. It's it's it, it's quite generous in yes. terms of like The Sims does this. I think and so does Civ. Yeah, but like what well, I mean like it's not like one of those hardcore, like, the game is moving at the speed we choose. Crusader Kings is kind of and just And they like, say here, yeah. there's nothing wrong with playing at Decide lower speeds, it. increasing the speed when things are quiet, or slowing it down when you go to war. Amen. Generally, we recommend you pause the game when inspecting menus or when you are faced with tough decisions. Nice. Very kind, yes. Okay, can I do that now? Yeah. I don't think it's... Game is paused. Click to unpause. Okay. To start the ticking of time, unpause the game using the space bar or clicking the play button. This will let days, months, and years go by. Armies told to do so will move, events will occur on screen, letters will be sent, and characters will so age. So good. Find a speed that is comfortable for you. You can always change it later. Oh, we begin. I understand. What now? Great question. <laughs> <laughs> I love how they've been dropping hints for this the whole time, uh, and now they're like, hey, listen. Ah. Oh. The game okay, is hold paused. on. The game is paused. Now, as a first task, let's remind your neighbor, the Earl of Desmond, who is the who, the, who his rightful liege truly is. If it happens to expand your realm, so be it. 
Using the character interaction system that we went over earlier and selecting him via the map, declare war <laughs> on the ruler of Desmond. You should already have a valid Cassus Belli as his title de jour, uh, uh, as his title is de jour, a part of your realm. For a more hands-on experience, we will now walk you through what happens in the flow of war. To and continue, also... declare war on Earl Meridak of Desmond. But also, wedding celebration. With my marriage to Petty Queen Rosalind, the realm expects us to throw a suitably extravagant wedding celebration. It is well within my right to collect a royal aid duty as part of this, but some may consider it tasteless to levy an extra tax during a time of jubilation. Of course I will collect it. Who pays for their own wedding? <laughs> oh, it's, it's giving us information about who it's about. Yes. Right, cool. Uh, and can we hover? We can hover over each of the people in the. So good. Which is great. This is so complicated to design. <laughs> oh. oh. What is that? Is that renown? What's yeah, that that's renown. I think I would rather have this amount of renown back. That yeah. Yeah. our <laughs> that our marriage did take from us initially. Yes. <laughs> And ba I mean, we basically saved double that amount by not, thank you, by not giving money to our spy master as a gift. Yes. We basically saved money. We basically saved money. Well, time for war. Okay. So um, they want us to do it by um, the character interaction system. Is it like we could click on doing Desmond. it this way and going to domain? Or what, is it just... Because I'm just curious if there's like a special menu that I should be looking at or if I should just click on Desmond. I'd just click on Desmond. Yeah. And then click on... He quite likes us. <laughs> um, he does. It's just temporary, isn't it? Oh, what's his well, motto? They did, oh, they just, they're just saying select him via the map. But this gives us the character interaction right, system right, right. generally. Yeah. So his motto is... I don't know. Let's see. He's from House... With the hammer, I support the persevering. Oh. All right. God, he's got so many babies. And one, I th think, brother? Yeah, he's got a brother who doesn't like him. Oh, and he has a... He has an older son. Yeah. 17. Hmm. 11, 8, 3. Well, time for war. Grasper. Bold Absolver. Content Antagonist. Fair enough. Um... Hello. Um, we would like to seize the earldom of Desmond, please. And if we endorse, enforce our demands... We gain the contested county. And what do these mean? Enforce, enforce demands, demands, white, white peace, peace surrender. surrender. No thanks. No thank you. Uh, yes, and, and he, he is, is vastly, vastly inferior. inferior. Um, to celebrate our wedding, we have declared war. But we aren't charging um, our citizens any tax. The music has changed. It sure has. And the map is going, war. <laughs> you have successfully declared a war. Sweet. <laughs> Next, you should rally your armies. A button has appeared at the bottom of your screen to help you, but you can also do this from your military view, which I, I'll do it that way, just to... Um, Wherever your rally point is, in this case, Tommond, that's where your army will gather and await your instruction. Note, you will have to unpause the game for your army to gather more <laughs> yeah. than a handful of men. Yeah, <laughs> come from other places. Leave it a few days and the army will form. To continue, raise your armies. Okay, so I've clicked raise all armies, and then I'm going to unpause, and they're all going to come. Oh, look, here they go. We might have... Yeah, I think we've got them. What's our, the size of our levy? How... Uh, click on the, the war view. Yeah, 626. We got and them all. And they're all here. Oh, this, that will tell them. 620 tell soldiers them. and six knights. Okay. Great. And here's his. I love that they're carrying the shields with the... Yeah. 429. Nice. Okay. I understand. So. To move your army, left click on the army on the map and right click on the area you want them to go. Perhaps the enemy capital? Barony? If you order your army across waters, it will embark, turning it into a fleet. For now, let's stay on land. Okay. 
And yes, here is Barony. Great. Off they go! Whee! Now that your army is moving, it is probably heading into battle with enemy forces. <laughs> we invented <laughs> coins and we're oh, stoked. Oh, it's very interesting. This can be a head-on encounter with other armies or the start of a siege. Battles will happen automatically if two hostile armies cross, cross paths. Similarly, sieges occur when you place your army on an enemy holding. This is a good time to unpause the game if you haven't done so yet. Otherwise, time stands still and your armies will not move. 10th of October, the 11th of October. That's Winter War. Yeah. I'll just bump the speed up a bit. God, they're taking ages oh, to get there. Ah! Great, we're paused. Yes, I just paused it. Uh, slow it down. The Battle of Tralee. Oh, and it's showing us. And down here, too. Yeah. So I guess we have to wait for it to. Okay. Have I paused it? Oh, it's paused. Uh, the outcome of a battle between two armies depend on a number of things. The number of levies both sides have. The health. <laughs> which, the health. If any, men-at-arms either side is using, the commanders involved, and even the terrain you're fighting on. More details can be gleaned from the combat view. Click on your fighting army to open it. Hello. Why can I do it here? Oh! No, no that's, that's me. Us. I think it might be this. Uh, like, this thing at the bottom might be the combat view. Mm. So if I were to close this and then click on this, yes, it would come back up. Okay. So we're unpaused. Let me speed up time a little. We're walloping them. Our knight, Conkar Brian, wounded Donchad. Tad MacDiarmid has maimed the enemy commander. Our knight, Brian, maimed, maimed Dimisak. Got him. Yay! Oh, custom animation for... Oh, down he falls. Your army is attacking an enemy holding. Click on the highlighted icon, the spearheads, to find out how it is going. You need to win sieges to win most wars as they increase your war score. War score! A measure of which side is winning in a war. The war's health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quantifiable. It goes from negative 100 to 100, with, for example, uh, 25 for one side being 25 for the other. Oh, interesting. At 100 war score, you can force the other side to accept your peace offer. And the thing that's good is that, like, the war score is sort of... You don't need to get into 100. It's sort of, like, yeah. a measure of, like, if I get it high enough, it might be easier for me to be, like, hey... To cajole. Can you stop... Yeah. Oh. I'd like to just click on. There we go. The Siege of Tralee. Maximum eight months left. Okay. An eight month siege. But they only have food for 20 days? No, next siege event in 20 days. Every 20 days, a new siege event occurs. Garrison supplies fully stocked, no effect on the siege. Garrison health normal, no effect on this the siege. Is so cool. Their walls are intact, no effect on the siege. Siege weapons are required to be able to breach the walls. But maybe they'll run out of food and get a little upset. Or we can say, hey, we'll stop sieging you. What is a white piece? Oh, both parties just agree that war is no longer worth pursuing. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. And like his army is 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 just trying to get away. Yeah. And God, I love that the arrow fills up to show when the move's gonna happen. Uh. Wee! Oh, they're going out to the water. Okay. What so does this now... green bar do up here? Siege progress. Daily progress, one. Siege will last at most <laughs> seven months with the current progress, but it seems their siege event in 20 days will be desertion. Interesting. Interesting. 
So I wonder if I go into the military view or if I click on the Earldom of Desmond. Oh, he doesn't like us very much. No. I think um, the war, probably. Yeah. I think this is red because we are at, we are at war with him. Probably. Or, I don't know. I wonder. I don't know. Yeah, I'll just let it play its natural yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Bye. Oh, look, this. Oh, man. Are they going to get sick or something? What's going to happen? Whoa. Disease outbreak. Garrison health. Sickness spreading. Oh, look at that boat. Yeah. Of 260 soldiers. Where do you think they're going? Away. That boat's fucking huge. It is. To hold so many soldiers. I wonder how our wife is doing. Fine. Pretty thrilled we're at war. Yeah. Loves a war. Um, and then also, we have that scheme going... Oh, to sway a lair. But also, we wanted our spy master to find... Oh, yeah. Secrets. Secrets. Here. Oh, okay. So he's making progress. If there I love that how one of the side effects that could be... <laughs> yes. Finding secrets has been discovered. I saw you were nosing around your court. So good. But there's only a 45% chance he'll find them. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. So right now she's just assisting us, but we could have her work toward court intrigue. Or, or chivalry. What happens if you hover over assist ruler? At the top. Oh, just general. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So we can be like specialized or... Yeah. I think this is new. I don't think this was in CK2. I'm fine with having her just support us for yeah, now. Yeah, why not? Interesting. That's so neat. I love the support of my treacherous wife. Oh, love to have the support of my treacherous wife. Oh, should we Has he gotten angrier at us? Oh yeah, we should unpause. I'm just watching things go. Oh yeah. I'm a... Oh, oh. interesting. Going, fleeing to... Uh... Hold on. Hello. Um, he has some levies in his place. And hopefully when we win the siege, we can send folks back. Yeah. Hmm, I wonder right, what so they're they doing there. Right, so they are now there. besieging. Oh, okay. Should we help in any way? Um, well, click the swords, the spears. Uh, no, the... Um, oh, yes. Uh, no, they're fine. They don't have enough swords. They don't, they're just to... like... Oh, we'll come in. Yeah, I love this kind of like medieval, this is weird medieval feeling of like there's an army camped out there, but they're not really doing anything. Yeah. What's this glowing thing up the top? What glowing thing? This glowing. Oh, we had a victory. Oh. Let's see what it says to us. Oh, details. Whoa. And what is our knights? Oh, our knights will have names. Yeah. But not our levies. No. That would be too many. Oh, oh find secrets is almost done. My lord, I found no secrets. <laughs> for I am the villain. <laughs> 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 ah. Yes. If there is anything, we shall find it. I must find the secrets. Oh, wow. Rampant disease. Daily siege progress. It's fascinating. This is... But I can't assault the fort because... Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh. <laughs> Sinful Prince Archbishop exposed. So is this something that... There's... Yeah. And we don't need to worry about the Archbishop. No. They were just telling us because I guess they thought we might be interested. I'm going to keep my eye on him. Because he's, what, sinful? We have a hook on him? No. I, th I, I don't really know why they told us this, but... It's Clementine. <laughs> Aww. Liege's little crown. Okay. Hmm. 
God, these poor fuckers. Mm, and nothing is happening over here. Because it's smaller than the garrison. Just more stalemates. Oh, Yay! the bailey was constructed. Hmm, pickled boar's heads. Delish. So the war started in October. Oh. Oh, we have a valuable we hostage. We captured him. Hostage. Hostage. <laughs> valuable hostage captured. I took my. Fo oh. Oh. Oh, well, that's the end of this LP. <laughs> so interesting. Okay. Your war score is at 100%. You are now able to use enforced demands on the enemy ruler. Right click that character and select offer peace. Or click the war score to open the same menu. So we got him. We got him. And we won the siege. Probably because we... Um... Because we captured... Oh, we just got some money. Straight away. Yeah. And it's occupied uh, with the stripey, stripiness. Yeah. You are now able to use enforced demands on the enemy ruler. Right-click that character and select offer peace, or click on the war score to open the same menu. He's in, he's in jail. He is in jail. Offer peace. Right. Or... Uh, just hit the war score. And then hit enforce demands. Enforce demands. So our demands... You gain the contested county. Becomes your vassal. Allies share 400 crown based on their contribution. Increases his opinion of his allies based on their contribution. Spends 40. We gain 40 fame. Our allies share 40 crown based on their contribution. Nobody contributed. It was just us. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> Congratulations on your victory. You have now experienced what it is like to make it through an essential part of the game. From now on, we will stop the tutorial lessons appearing. You will, however, still be able to get some advice if you open them when they pop their alert at the top of the screen. In this advice, we will briefly elaborate on the most important things you encounter. Thank you for staying with us. So good. good luck. God, what a good tutorial. Good tutorial. A little, sometimes a little overwhelming. Big in the bean. The task they have to do. Yeah. Is gigantic. Yeah. I understand. Ah. Oh. Many things. Wait, are wait, up wait, here. wait, wait. Ah, ah, what? What? No, you're good. Sorry. I was just going to say, can we take a break so I can run to the loo? Yeah, we... I would also like to run to the loo. Should we just pause here and then move on? Can I read this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Excuse me. To my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. You are a much but greater foe than I imagined. In order to put an end to this bloodshed, I will comply with your demands. Signed, Earl Murdoch MacCartack of Desmond. You gained the contested county. And he has become a vassal of us. And we can scroll so be it. Down. Oh, <laughs> he's mad because he's not on our council. Mm. Dude, no way. Oh, wait, there was a bunch of other stuff on that menu. We could have scrolled down. But it's a mystery that will remain to us, and that's fine. <laughs> we'll have to wait until we defeat someone else. Um, there are many things you could do now that you have dipped your feet into the essentials. Crusader Kings is about setting your own goals. If you want a suggestion, we recommend you try to become the king or queen of Ireland. War is not the only way, either. I understand. Um, incredible. Okay, the game is paused. Yes. And let's... Go to the loo. Let's do it. Bye. Bye. Um. All right. Hello. Wait. Hi, Hello. We're back. we're back. We changed the UI a bit. Should we disband our troops? Mm hmm. Because they hate being. Um... You may return. Bye. Well done, boys. There he goes, just feeding into non-existence. Oh, goodness. So now we have a whole bunch of stuff has also appeared at the top of the screen. Yes. Okay. So the following things have appeared at the top of the screen. There are six issues. Let's, let's do them view. last. Oh, okay. Oh, I think we can go here first. Okay. 
Crusader Kings 3 has many concepts and terms that you can learn about. If you find yourself wondering about a game concept, you can open the encyclopedia. Follow the highlighted UI to see how to do this. The, um, the tutorial lessons category of the encyclopedia lists many sections of the tutorial in case you ever need to refresh your memory. I understand. Okay. We had a victory, which will be dismissed on the 15th of November. It's just there for, uh, to remind us of We can also dismiss it the if good we times. Want. You want me to dismiss it, or is it nice to remember? I think I'm fine. What? I think I'm fine knowing that I did it and not seeing oh, okay. it on the screen. Got it. And then here are our issues. Suggestions. Increase opinion. What happens if we mouse over them? Do we get told, yeah, all right. Your vassal, Earl Ragnvald, has a low opinion of you. Increasing it with a personal scheme will make your life easier. We are not endorsed by our bishop. Yeah, that's true. Well, we're in the middle of trying to sway him. So here, let me bring the speed to one while we go over these things. Oh, and unpause the game. And unpause the game. We can declare war on Earl Aed. Why? <laughs> click to view Cass's belly. Oh, can I click this here? What? What? Why? Our, our courtier has a claim on... Oh. Who is Earl Mac... Is that... Up here. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Good to know. Pause. Of, of this? Of this whole zone. Who's this high cheekboned <laughs> woman? <laughs> Stop. Who I'll gag? Brave with sword in hand. So. I don't fully understand why, but it seems that, like, our courtier, Dom. Dom. Domel Mag Ed Neil Neugelach. Yeah. Has a claim. So if I click on. Oh, I think you have to click further along the column. That's Him. Earl Aed. Ah. We'll gain the contested title. Yeah. He so will... we would go to war basically on behalf of our courtier. And then we. And then we would. Vassalize then, him. by extension, yes, we could vassalize then Alec because Domnal would be there. Or we could vassalize Domnal and say, Domnal, you run Alec. Oh, yes, right, that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what I, I thought. That is what I thought I he said. was called Alec. I thought you meant we would vassalize him. No, no, no. We'd probably kill him. We would kill him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good to know because we might be able to pincer. Family members can get married. Several Ooh. of your close members are eligible to be wed. Arranging marriages for them would benefit your dynasty and could let you form new alliances. So both of our brothers <gasps> our can brothers. be married. Our brothers. Our brothers are of marrying age. Oh. We can ransom. Oh, Elshu, we captured this courtier. Oh, and we could say to to Desmond. Do you want your guy back? Yeah. A godless adventurer. It's Why just, was he imprisoned? He was just someone in the court of of Desmond that in the battle we hmm. captured. Jailer. Liege. Yes, he's just someone from battle that we captured. Okay. Do we want to ransom him? Or for a favor. Um. Powerful vassal demands council position. This fucking loser Ugh. wants to be on the council. He really wants Absolutely to be on the council. Absolutely not. Um, I wish I could. I wish I could ransom him for. Hey, you can't be on my council. <laughs> Calm down about being on my council. What happens if we select for a favor? Does it basically give us like a kind of a hook? Yeah, we yeah. gain a weak hook. Mm. Gains and what five happens? opinion of So he'll gain a he'll gain a opinion for his liege rather than oh, to me. Oh, that's fascinating. Because he let him, because he conceded, because he was like, oh, you came through, you got me out. 
Yeah, I guess. But I wonder if we keep him for longer, because it says Brackett's ransomed recently. If we keep him for longer, it might make him sit and stew. What? And then, and then that might make him despair, because he'll be like, well, my... My boss isn't coming my for My liege me. isn't coming for me. Yeah, that's a good point. Hey, what do you think this green heart with the plus in it means? His health is good. Oh, great. His humors are balanced. Okay. And what is this green... Oh, it's a member of our house. Oh, okay. Because I think I want to let him stew for yeah. a Yeah. Absolutely. We should leave it in the thing. Yeah. Do we want to dismiss powerful vassal demands council position because we're just like... It might help me know. remember. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but let's deal with our brothers, okay. perhaps. Because we're dealing with our bishop by trying to sway him. Yes. We could also start another scheme to uh, sway um, Desmond. Yes. And that might be a good idea to get going while we deal with our bishops. Yes. Okay. So, hey, Desmond. Oh, 17. no. We can't sway him while we're trying to sway our bishop, and I'd rather sway our bishop than yeah, sway him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get out of here. Um, I'd rather marry off. I wonder if we can marry our children to his children. Let's see. Uh, he has, what it would I think, do. all boys, and most of them are babies. Look, I'm just going to see what's happening over there, okay? Of course. So, can I click on... Okay. Oh, just goes right to arrange marriage. Okay. What is that matrilineal? So, that means that any kids will go down the mother's line. Uh, which is useful. It's useful if we want to get rid of somebody. Or if you want to cement alliances by being like... For example, if we are marrying our daughter to someone, we might want to set up a matrilineal marriage so that the kids... Mm -hmm. So let's learn about ooh, our... Ooh. Oh! Greetings, cousin. Mm. Oh. Very well, you know best. And now he's just going to be disrupting schemes. Yeah. Well, so... Let's... Whoops. No. We could say to disrupt schemes in, like, Desmond and stuff, right? Yeah. Do we think they are going to be doing some bad business? Or we could have them support our schemes. Yeah, like our sway scheme. Oh, pause. Get out of here. That'll stay. Um, Task finished. Do you think that's passive, or do you think we have to place him? I don't know. What happens if you left-click on that and then right-click on the region? I, it doesn't... No, I think, I think he's just doing what it. I just it did. does seem to be highlighted. Yeah. Okay. I'm kind of... I wish it would say, like, what he's in the middle of doing. I think he's doing it. Yeah. Because, like, look, these people seem to have passives activated right now as well. Like, everybody. Well, he was married, and then his wife died. Of unknown causes. He probably killed her. Oh. Spooky. Does this mean... Can I see who... No, I was never married. Okay. Look at our wife looking at us like, hmm. Might God. kill him. I might kill him. I'm might considering kill him. killing him. Okay, so would we like to... We have two options here. Yeah. Would we like to marry off our brothers, or would we like to um, see how best to get the endorsement of our bishop? Brother Mary, I think. Brother Mary, you think. You got it. We can get rid of this menu if you don't want completely by clicking that. Ah, okay. Um, right. Brother marriage. Uh, so we have one brother who is 47 and one brother who is 38. And they both, they both like us. They both like us a fair amount. So, and our son is married. He's feeling fine. Um, so, Conkabar is honest. 
is brave, but lazy. But lazy. Yeah. And, um, and he has a tongue. And he has a tongue. Oh, he has a lisp. He has a lisp. Bless. And, but he has a plus 10 opinion yeah. of other lisping characters. That's very like, sweet. Great. He's a charismatic negotiator, though. This guy sounds, sounds fun. And he has three claims to Tommond, to Munster, and to Ireland. Yes. Um, but I think so do we. Yes. And we have two titles. Interesting. How many people ha ha can lay claim <laughs> to the Kingdom of Ireland? I'm just gesturing at everybody in Ireland. Uh, okay. So, let's... Real quick, what is the difference between find spouse and arrange marriage? Because we get two different options, and I always forget which is which. Yeah. So, like, one looks in our court, and one... I think arrange marriage is everyone everywhere. Hmm. And I think find spouse is... If you right-click on him. Ah. Arrange a marriage between two because characters in your, your own, own court. court. Find and a spouse is just, like, every, like everyone and open everywhere. Open up. Okay, Cupid or whatever. Yes. So, do we want to arrange a marriage within our own court or Probably open up Okay, Cupid? The former. Yeah. Okay. There's so just one. Just one. And it doesn't look. Doesn't look like a great super. match. Wrathful, arrogant, gluttonous, and lowborn. Mm. What about this brother? Who is he? Is forgiving, ambitious, and stubborn. And a rough terrain expert. He is... Uh... That's what is that? Might be a sweet... She's comely. I don't know. Yeah, she's pleasant to look at. I don't, you know, I think this could be a fine match. They're both... They're both, you know, sort of... Um, grumpy in their own Wait, way. Wait, so you would like to match Lorcan with Karak? Yeah, and I think our lisping son can can we can get someone else from afar. Sure. So this is our eldest brother, not son. So our no, this is our younger brother, Lorcan, who is kind of he's forgiving, but he's also like kind of um, he's am, you know ambitious and stubborn. What are those two things together? He's a rapacious absolver. Oh, yeah, fair. And he's a tough soldier. And to have a pretty wife who is... I think, you know, her personality is one that is more in line with that of a higher... Yes. A woman of higher status. And their age difference is enough that were it happening in 2020, I would go, oh, uh-oh. Yikes. But in 1067... I don't really mind. Crusader Kings, baby. So now, how do you feel and what do you want to do? Well, let's, let's, let's do the original plan. Lorcan marries Kanak. Yeah. Lorcan then... finds spouse. Whoops. Lorcan arranged marriage. So we would lose 300. Um... No, Lorcan would lose 300. Oh. Well, that's fine then. I don't think we have any hooks, do we? No. No. Um, yeah, that's fine with me. I find her interesting. Great. And then our half-brother, Conkabar. Um, and if I now go to arrange marriage, there's nobody. But... Oh, that's for everybody. <laughs> you can arrange marriages oh from goodness. everybody to everybody. That's fascinating. Okay. Sort by... Oh, alliance power, prestige gain, rank, age, opinion of you, diplomacy. And then we have a bazillion other filters by clicking that little um, magnifying glass. Personal politics. Dynasty. Oh, here, this is where we say not lowborn. Huh. Ook, what is claims? Claims. Huh. Oh. Pressed claims. Pressed claims are considered legally strong and are 
inherited as unpaid Oh, it's like claims. they weaken over time. Huh? Yeah, by the children of a claimant. Interesting. Wow, so claims can just disappear. Over time. Does that then apply the filter? Interesting, because it doesn't seem to change. What if I change by alliance power? Well, okay. A sort of 11-year-old Czech a princess. They are all children. They are all children. Okay. Great for a baby run, not good to marry to... A 33-year-old man. A 33-year-old. Age difference. Maximum 10 years. Oh. Ah. Let's just... Oh, what about prestige gain? <laughs> oh, the 52-year-old Princess Agat of, of Ruthenia. Interesting. This is interesting to me. She's a callous atheist and she's in Staffordshire for some reason. <laughs> Why is she in A Russian princess? She's an orthodox Russian princess? Oh my god. Yes, tell me more. Oh! oh! <laughs> okay, this, this marriage will not go through, but holy lord, her dead dad is, I think, the king of Russia. Yes. Of Ruthenia. Has she just, like, had to... She's had to... So she had a husband. He died. Oh, this year! No, 10 years ago. Oh, interesting. Oh my god. Oh, wow. And she's, oh my she's god. unlanded. She's, wow, she's like this unlanded woman. She's like fled Russia. And has like a million claims. This is a little frightening because do we actually want this for our no. brother? No. W would they marry? Yeah, she would accept. And... And we would gain... No, he would gain prestige. Oh, yeah, he would gain prestige, which I'm not sure we, we necessarily want, but, like... It is very cool, it's though, It's very it? interesting. Well, so all of her claims... She's in Staffordshire. ...are pressed claims. So, like, they're legit. She's been, like, de-landed. She's, yeah. like... Yeah. I guess her father died, or her husband died, and the succession laws meant that it couldn't fall to her... Who runs Ruthenia? Can you just click Ruthenia and it'll take you there? I wish, but it doesn't do that. How do we get to Ruthenia? Um... I don't want to clear these characters. Oh, can we search? Oh, let's see. Go Find, to... go uh, to capital. No, that would move us to Thermond. Um, Ruthenia. I mean, you'd think it would be... A sort of a Russian... Oh, here it is. Holy Lord, it's massive. Oh, my God. I just got a little bit of here as well. Oh. Oh, my God. It's so confusing. Okay. Princess Agatha, I would like to see your... Holy cannoli. Oh my god. The current hold. What happened? It's because she is. She's cynical and paranoid. What I'm is not surprised. Her relationship with Izzy Aslav. Well, I, what I want to see. Love that it's like, oh yeah, she's here. <laughs> um, let me minimize these claims. Her family. Look at all her dead siblings. I know. I wonder if there was like a massacre. I think so. Her children are still alive, but they all live in. One of her kids is the heir to the earldom of Staffordshire. How did that happen? <laughs> oh, it's fascinating. I wonder if we can marry, um... Oh, wow. Her daughter runs Staffordshire. She married... Oh. Earl Donald the Fair of Staffordshire. And okay. she's pregnant, by the looks of things. Interesting. I think it would be very interesting to be involved Absolutely, in this family. Absolutely, I think it would be very interesting to be involved in this family. Let's get married. What's her motto? 
The spirit of the horse grants us faith. Absolutely. I feel the same way. Interesting. And these people who so now... It, oh, we can go into their family tree and see how they're related. Yes, but I, I'm not quite sure how. Um, click the house banner. Oh. And then click the open dynasty tree. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Oh. I like this menu, but it is confusing. Uh, dynasty tree. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, I uh, lost oh, this. Oh, you can zoom with the middle map. Uh, if you click and hold the scroll wheel, you can... Oh, I can yeah. then go all around. Okay. There she is. There she is. And here he is. Okay. So. He is her... Uh, nephew. Nephew. Yeah, so her nephew is now the king. And this seems to be the family. Yes. Of, like, this... My little... guess is that he is... So he's the eldest grandson of the king. And he went and murdered <laughs> all of her siblings. <laughs> until and maybe his dad. And maybe like the his dad. the succession must have gone down this way, right? Yes. And I think she fled. Where is her sister, Queen Mother Dobronica Maria of Poland? Is she, so she's now... I think just in Poland. She looks my, like my clarinet teacher. Hmm. Also, I'm just going to say hi to the folks. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, she's in Poland. You can keep now. going, but if you want, um, or do you want to take a break? Yeah, we can take a quick break. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. We're back. We're back. We went to lunch. We went to lunch. Uh, and, uh, yeah. That's... Jack made tea, but no lunch. Yeah. Okay. Because of the massive amount of granola that I ate. <laughs> so, here is what we understand that has just happened. Yeah. We have just married our half-brother to a woman who has a pressed claim to the entire kingdom of Russia, but has fled to Staffordshire by marrying her daughter to the Earl of Staffordshire to avoid the massacre perpetrated by... That we by, assume was a massacre. That we assume was Which a massacre. Fine. Perpetrated, we assume, allegedly. Allegedly. By her nephew, her nephew. The eldest grandson of the previous king. And the current king. And, it's, and who it's is now the current king. Kind of Russia. It's Ruthenia, which also has a little, a little, a little, a little tiny bit here bit on the here. edge of the Black Sea. Um, and her only surviving sister lives in Poland. Fascinating. Really, really interesting. So in theory, well, let's hit play and see if she accepts. Yes. And then we can... I think... Ah. Yes. Okay. So. Greetings, Petty King Merchad of Munster. I gladly accept your marriage proposal. <laughs> your brother, Conkabar, and my mother, Agatha, will be joined in holy matrimony. May St. Bridget bless their union. So this has given... A this has actually given us an alliance with Staffordshire. <laughs> Do we have an alliances menu? I think we do. I just don't Excellent. know where it is. Um, it's probably somewhere up here, isn't it? Probably somewhere in realm is my guess. Yeah, I reckon realm. Um, um. Domain. Succession. Vassals. No. Um, how do we see our... Oh, maybe it's in our character menu. Because mm. it is the alliances that we have. What is this? Oh, to make another lifestyle focus. Um, we could check the encyclopedia. Mm. I feel like being able to see where our... Um, where uh, is, is it that book down there? Yes. Mm-hmm. Spouses are a symbol of a king marries off his daughter to the two kings are allies. This is why we have an alliance with Staffordshire, I guess. Mm -hmm. I wish we could just see our alliances. Maybe it's because like it would require such a complex like 
I feel like they're doing all that maths already. I, I reckon it's here and we just... Oh, diplomacy. Uh, 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 those, those shields. Ah, yes. Yes, gorgeous. I wish I could make it bigger by, like... Yeah. Okay, but we have, we are allied to Prince Bledon. Of Gwynedd, which because... is in England. Because our son and their daughter got married. Great. Uh, we are allied. Ah, uh, right. Yes. Yes. Countess Margaret of Staffordshire through marriage of our brother, who is 47, and her mother, yes. who is 52. An Orthodox Russian Callous emigre. atheist. And then we have a truce with... Uh, Desmond. Yeah. I know his name's not Desmond, but he's from a place called Desmond. She doesn't like us. Why doesn't he have any claims? Is it because... Maybe their kid would have unpressed claims, but, like, mm. he doesn't actually have any claims. The claims yeah. are hers. She was previously married... To Prince Edward of England? Right. Okay, here's my guess at what happened. He, she married him. He was the king. He only had one daughter. Hmm. Or, and we can find this out, or there is an a, 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 um, older woman can inherit. Hmm. So she has become... Because I was wondering why she was in charge of Staffordshire. He was unlanded. What? This could be a bug. He could, he could have been generate. Oh no, here we go. Oh, he was the son of the king. Yeah. She has so two. Here's Countess Margaret. He was the only son of King Edmund. And then, are her brothers older or younger than her? Oh, that's a sister, Duchess Christina. So they must just have a succession law that allows for women to inherit, and because she was the oldest daughter. I wish that the character menu would. Duchess Christina of East Anglia. I've been there. It's all right. Interesting. What an interesting way that we have sort of inadvertently connected ourselves gluttonous and stubborn and pregnant which removes her military prowess probably understandably mm. Ethelred oh there he is oh bless interesting okay oh oh my god that's gotta be England right yes oh oh no this is just showing houses okay I thought we had somehow found the way to zoom quickly to um What does this red banner mean? Ah, oh, it's our rally point. Mm. Great. Okay. Okay. So, and now Lorcan is married to this woman. Canuck. Who's an irrational gambler. Untitled. But she's comely. Yeah. But they won't have any children, so... No, for some reason. For some reason. Okay. So one of those issues is cleared up. Yes. Uh, the that shouldn't be on the list anymore. We yeah. previously had the issue that our brothers were unmarried. Yeah. Why do you think that's an issue? Because then they will be more interested in I don't know. I don't know because you definitely do sometimes want to keep people unmarried for like a power reason. Mm -hmm. I wonder if in the early game they just see unmarried close relatives as uh, like you want to, you mm. want to marry them. Shall we learn about how to fix our bishop problem? Yes. They're giving us a whole tutorial on this yeah. as well. If we click that um, question mark. Where is the question mark? There. Oh yes, great. Let me keep. I'll have it playing at one speed. Your character's faith makes it so you have a realm priest on your council. 
These bishops hold immense power and are more than willing to share it with you, should you stay on their good side. Your bishop provides you with taxes and levies from all temple holdings in your realm, and how much they give you is dependent on their opinion of you. Okay, they're a kind of, just a kind of holding. Mm. Being disliked means that you will not get anything, and the bishop may even make life hard for you. <laughs> they can, for example, force you to divorce your spouse. You should do your best to improve their opinion of you. Using the send gift interaction or starting a sway, a sway scheme are two good options to consider. For if, if everything else fails, arranging an unfortunate accident is always an option. Perhaps their successor will be more amicable. I understand. So we got this scheme going that's about halfway complete. Yes. And he doesn't dislike us too much. No. But it's enough that he doesn't endorse us. What's his, what's his um, title? The bishopric of Aonach Ermenhuman. Okay, so he's basically he he is just like a, a baron, like a like a little. Yeah, and they've got this little bishopric. This little, oh, on this little. It's a hill. Can we improve that holding? I wonder. This holding. If we just click on it, do we get upgrade improvements? We do. Uh. Oh, this. These are our holdings. Are our holdings. Ross Crea, where is that? Oh, it's interesting. There's nothing there, but we could create a holding and give it to someone, like a baby, for example. Like a baby, for example. So um, we could construct a new holding. A new, a new or a building. new building, sorry, is what I, mean, and is then, what I meant to uh, say. Wow, look at all that tax and levies that we're not getting. I know. Um, if we did construct a new building... It would improve the possibility of taxes and levies, but But nothing would make him like us more. No. But maybe once once he likes us. Can we upgrade that third? Yes, we can. We can, if we did. It boosts our piety, the tax, and the control. Cool. I'm fine with that. Yeah, monastic schools. Yeah. You love it. Otherwise... Oh! Call oh. to war. Interesting. Right, hang on a second. <laughs> to the amicable... Petty King Chad of Munster, I call on you to honor our alliance and join me in the Gwynedian claim on the Principality of De Hubarth. <laughs> oh, we're in Crusader Kings now, <laughs> baby. Uh-oh. Who That's, is this? This is the father of the of the woman that we just married. The um Wait, we can see That exactly, we married our right? son to. Yeah, if I click on him we see that his children include Oh, it's her. Yes. Um who we Dennis, married to who we our... married to our son. Our son. Okay. And where do they want to fight? The principality I... of Dehubarth. Cl oh, maybe it is being highlighted and it's under the Where's Dehubarth? Uh, Principality of Dehubarth. Is it being highlighted right now? Yes. Oh, okay. It's in England. Right. Mercia. And this guy, our guy wants it. This is, and he is South Wales. Here. So he's trying to push into South Wales, maybe? He is. Why doesn't the A move us to the left? We might be as far left as... No, No, weird. we're not. Um, whoa, ho, ho. Whoa, oh, oh no, very uh -oh, cursed. I don't uh -oh. don't like that. Um, or I can hold. I think it spins us back, oh, no matter okay. what. Um, and we can use the scroll wheel to click and drag. Um, right. So, this is the Principality of Dehubarth, and this is Gwynedd. the Principality of Gwynedd. And Gwynedd is, um... Can his... we click Principality of Gwynedd just to get its borders highlighted? Yes. Okay, it's quite big. It is quite big. But it's... so is to Hubarth. It's the witch riding the pig. Yes, it is the witch riding the pig. Most of the witch. Um... I mean, it would be good for our... Would it be we good for to. our son? Yeah, we do have to. <laughs> Um, 
it might be good for us. Oh, you serp. Um, what a great button. God. Uh, actually, a thing that I would love to check while we're on this realms mode, actually. Yeah. Is which we can get back into by clicking realm. Duchy uh, titles. Duchy titles. titles. Empire titles. And go over to um, Staffordshire. Which is, I guess, Kent. Who? The family of our... We can find this out. I basically want to know what the succession laws are for Staffordshire. So I guess the way we do that is we go to the Russian woman. And, um, and her uh, mother, daughter, daughter, Countess Margaret. Right. And now we can click Earldom of Staffordshire. Uh, though just a shield under where it says one title. Yes. And it is... Countess Margaret's Partition Male Preference Law. Okay. So it's going to go to a baby. Yep, Duncan. Then it's going to... Duncan Dunkled! Oh, Duncan, little Duncan Dunkled! And then it's going to go to... Oops. Edgar. Oh, because she just had her son. Oh, congratulations! Congratulations. And then it's going to go to the Russian woman. And then it's going to go to him. So it's male uh, to her, and so it's male preference, not. Um, but why isn't going to go? Isn't it going to go to the eldest? Because he is not her son. He is. Oh. He is the queen's, or the the um, duchess's, or whatever her name is, brother. He is the Duchess's brother. He is the brother of, oh, 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 oh. of the yes. Russian woman's. Got so it's it. like it's going sideways instead of going down. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Makes me brain hurt a bit, but it does explain why she inherited it. Okay. So. Anyway. Now we're going to try and mess up. If we decline, loses 10 opinion of you for 12 months. And what happens if we accept and win the war? Uh, Bledin spends the prestige to start the war. Mm-hmm. That seems really to be it. Mm, oh, we will get um, we'll get prestige depending on how much we contribute. Oh yes. Um. And we could send some some folks over. Totally, hundred percent. I mean, they might die. Yeah. But that's fine. If we hover over these, does it actually highlight it on the map now? No, it doesn't. No. Oh, that would be great if it did, but it doesn't. Easy if to I click, click on, on it, it, though, and then we if get I to see it. If I click on it, it will. Yeah. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay. You know, I'm starting to cook with gas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's less the complexity of the systems and more that there's just fucking tons so of them. So many of them, yes. So we accept. All right, now. How much soldiers do we want to send? He is he is going to thump. Well, let's check the war score and see how the war started three months ago. Um, he massively he has outclasses. So many and wait and the the defense here. But I think they are slightly better. Uh, if you hover over um, our guy's total soldiers. As in Chad's? No, 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 the the English guy. Elite quality. So they're great. In this case, soldiers are superior, superior quality. quality. Okay. Okay. I reckon we can send some folks. How many? So if I go into military. Pause. Oh. Um... I don't know really how we... Oh, the game is playing right now. Oh. I don't know really how we, like, raise some. Oh, maybe we could do it from the city. Oh, what happens if we click levies? And then we go... I reckon that'll open... Oh, no. No. I think we just have to, right now... Yeah, there's probably an easier way to do it. But... I'm just gonna raise some armies. I'm fine with that. Oh, more math... Fionagal. Of Galway. So everybody's joining in, right? Everybody's joining in, yeah. Okay. And then we just sort of want Aww, to... Aw, from all the way up here. Gosh. 
Okay. And from Ulster. And from... Heron. Heron. Okay. So it's sort of all kicking off. Yeah. My bean's a little mush. My bean's a little mush. Um, we could... We just sort of fling them at... Let's let the wall play for a bit. Yeah. And then fling them at where it seems like we'll be most useful. So... Oh, they haven't risen yet. They, we need to give them a little bit of time. Oh, so. okay. Ragenveld. Oh, From hey, Norwegian Ragenveld to Irish. Is, Yay! Okay. He still doesn't like us. But now he is Irish. Okay. Okay, right. We got, we got, we got, folks. Ooh, slightly more this time because the levy's been... Now there's a big battle going on over there that I think they're going to win. I wonder if we could just besiege one of his holdings. Because he doesn't seem to have any troops there. There's 861 soldiers there, though, so they might... Whoops. Uh, yeah, if so you I would click, like... Um, that. This? Yeah. I thought I had, but I guess I hadn't. Now... I just told them to go here. We're going to arrive on Valentine's Day. Aww. Pleasant. It's the 29th of December. I love it because it's medieval times. Everything takes forever. Oh, and we need to unpause. And we have some issue. We can ask our head of faith for gold. Is that the Pope? Yes. We do have... Uh, we have some party. Let's see how much it would cost us. He so would lose opinion of us. 250 party, which is a lot. But if we had a hook... Wow, it is amazing that he's wearing two crowns. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we got sick. Oh, wait, don't... Okay, fine. <laughs> okay. I would like to tend to the fact that we've just gained... We've just become ill. Petty king or peasant, high or low, it does not matter. In the end, we are all mortals. I was reminded of this as I woke coughing in the early morning hours, a dull ache pounding through my head and throat. Should we send for a physician? Yeah. Okay. Now, what would you like to do, Jack? Um. No, I realized that the thing I wanted to do was just, um... We don't want to. We don't want. We ask don't want money. to ask the Pope for no, money. No, because it would take so much piety. It would take so much. Piety. He is wearing two crowns, one on top of the other, and yes. that was funny to look at. Okay. Um, sucks that we're ill, huh? Okay, so now that we have arrived. Yeah, um, we could engage his weakened army. Which is this one? Um, this one. Yeah, this one. Or we could go and besiege one of his holdings. I think they're moving here. The city of Aberystwyth. So we <laughs> could maybe go take a pop at Aberystwyth. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, okay. Sure, I'm, I'm happy to stumble about there. And then when they meet, ooh, they'll have a little fight. But we're bigger than they are, just by enough. And if we lose the battle, we can just... Like our wounds and ah, see he and did he get. Is... Oh no, that's okay. I don't really know what's happening there. I think it's that the English guy's army or the Northern Welsh guy's army is on the yes. same. Yes, armies in this location. Ah, okay. Finally, my servants have found some people who might be fit to serve as court physician. Either way, I fear I cannot afford to be picky now. Apparently, Tor is quite experienced. Sinidian seems enthusiastic, if nothing else. Both of them failed to impress me. Mm. Mm. So Tori mm. is more expensive, but I'm I'm happy to pay for him yeah. to stay alive. Oh, the time has come to treat your cold. Well, I'm fairly certain a simple tincture would suffice. The choice is yours, my lord. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Do no more than what is necessary. You seem good. Ah, 
Tor brought a croaking bucket to my chambers and told me to expose my upper body. He grabbed a toad, gutted it with deft hands, and proceeded to place the still-twitching carcass on my chest. He continued until the bucket was empty and my torso was covered. Great. The toad treatment turned out to be just what I needed. <laughs> For now, the worst of my symptoms are alleviated and the world seems a little brighter. Oh, thanks, Tor. Excellent work, Tor. Oh, they've gone... To the capital, I think. Yeah. All oh, right, now we're besieging okay. East Anglia. And we can find out... Oh, not East, not Anglia. East Anglia. What am I talking yeah. about? At Bristwith. Cardigan. Cardigan. Siege of Cardigan. Um, And we are... Pretty good. Yeah. Taking eight casualties a month, but Dude, it's not so yeah. bad. There's only 300 people inside. Mm -hmm. Seems, Seems like an alright kind of siege. I'm happy to let that sort of carry on. And I would like to see... Uh, not my court. My council. Is this where my... No, not where my physician is. Um, my physician, I, wasn't I guess, court. is just he's, in my court. He's up here. Oh, yes! Oh, Katal would make a good vassal. Oh. 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 He's currently content. Our aunt. Oh. Bebin will leave our court soon. Bebin. Farewell. Do you want to let it play out while we're looking? Oh, yes. I just get anxious. Oh, but... me too. Yes? So, what shall we do next? Um, well, our scheme with the bishop is about to end. Should I speed up time a little? Maybe just a little. A little more? Mm, let's see what's happening in the siege. Mess up. <laughs> Wee! Oh, look! Oh, looking after me! Our spouse's good martial skill led to this windfall. We gained attentive care for five years. Oh, thank you, Rosalyn. She likes us. She does. How much of a treacherous villain now, are you, Rosalyn? <laughs> love. I love her. She's fantastic. She is. She's great. Okay. There right. we go. Here we go. What's this do? Oh. We don't have any weapons that can breach a fort. Oh, oh man. Right, good. We're, they're beating him, or yeah. we're beating him. No, they. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what the this is going to do to the war score. I don't know. We could... I don't know. What's this? Starvation, maybe? Yes. Oh my god, wow, they routed them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely obliterated. Oh, okay. So. Let's you... start up here. Yep. The Earldom of Tommond gained organized service for five years. Your marshal's average martial skill led to this windfall. Organized service. The peasants in this county have been organized by a system to maximize Ooh. the efficiency of their military and agricultural service. Well done, Marshal. Great. That's fantastic. And we swayed our bishop. Yes. Bishop Belair of Munster. And has started endorsing us. Yes, church holdings. Incredible. Great. We are... We're losing more money than we seem to be gaining. And I, I don't understand. No, we're making... We're making... But we had... We, do you think it's because of our raised armies? We had 400... Yeah, I old. think it's because we're raising armies. We're paying um, embark ago. costs mm -hmm. as we enter and leave. I would just hate to bankrupt us before we manage to become the king of Ireland. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It costs armies. It costs money to have armies. How do you think Donal is doing? Baby Donal. You want to find out? Yeah. All right. Um, He's our nephew. Here. We can go here. 
Oh no, he's taking up gambling. He's taking up gambling. And he is rowdy. He's still rowdy. Can we educate him? Yeah, we now. can try. Educate child. Mm. Interesting. He'd become our ward. We would be the guardian. Yes. He would be our ward. Yeah. Sounds good? Yeah, let's propose it. Yes. Yes. Ah, baby Donald. You shall want for nothing. Wonderful. Um, something I did want to check with the bishop is... Let's exit this character menu for Donald as much as I'd love to see him. Is, um, so he holds... This bit here. Yes. And we did build that school, and that might be why we lost some money as well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. What um, are you doing? I am... I'm trying to see the taxes, but I... Oh, because he's not our vassal. No. Okay, so, don't worry. Okay. I was just being like, how much are we making from this fish? Um... I, I wonder how we can capitalize on this endorsement and this this territory, or if it's simply that he exists in kind of an ind on an independent plane right. and we take piety from that. Right, right, right. Ah. No, I was hoping it would. No. Tell us. But is, is this is a temple holding. Can you click on it again? Oh, on... That menu. Yeah. So, realm succession will be inherited according to your male preference confederate partition law. So... We... We have it. We have it. Then oh. our son. He looks so big now. Yeah. Wow. And... Dennis, we're going to war for your father. <laughs> you could at least she cheer is, up a is, little bit. She's afraid of us she as is. well. She um, is afraid of us. So yeah, I think we're basically just getting like taxes. We are still swaying him though, which is interesting. We might want to sway somebody else. I don't know. Um, well, we did want to sway our spy master. Yes. So that he liked us at least. Okay. I would like that. Yes. Okay. Oh, petty Queen Rosalind. Wonderful. What a wonderful queen she is. I gotta say that even if we should die, would we then take on her or would we become our son? Our son. We'd become our son. Oh, less interesting. Less interesting. How is our siege going? It's going great. It's going great. Maximum of two months left. Look, they're starving. Ooh, right. they might surrender. Hooray! Oh, no, they're just deserting, which will make things easier for us, but... Where are you going? Where are you going, I wonder? The enemy army. Oh, they're not going anywhere near us. Mm, no. So that's fine. Oops. Oh, our prisoner died. Uh, right, we played the game of chicken for too long, didn't we? We did. Crap. Okay, well... Okay. Well, that's fine. I don't think... How are you feeling about all of this? God, he does not like us. Well, he, he likes us a little bit more than he did before. Is he afraid of us? Yeah, he is. He's intimidated. What do you reckon that little bowl does? The little mortar and pestle to the left. Oh. oh, he's a doctor. Oh, wow. I wonder if there's going to be a naval battle. Fascinating. It seems like that's the... Oh! Nope, they're all... They're all going in different directions. The enemy army is headed this way. Ooh, I hope that they're not going to try and fight us while we're in the middle of that siege. And our ally army is just... Heading down. Headed to Cornwall. Heading down to Cornwall. 
Interesting. So he mostly hates he us because he wants a seat, seat on, on the, the council. council so bad. <gasps> oh my god. Should we give him a seat on the council? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! Look, they've um, this they've besieged army is his capital. Siege the capital. Yeah. But he, the enemy, has besieged our guy's capital. Oh, but I don't think they have enough soldiers. No, I think that they're going to win this siege before they win this siege. I don't think they can even start. I think no. the garrison is bigger than military strength four hundred and forty nine versus four hundred and ninety two. Oh. Oh! Yay! Yes. Okay, we should move on. We should. We should. Um. Uh, can we help them here? Yeah, I think so. Hit. We've come to help. We are but little. I like that we got. Four, we got four money. Uh, we could we try and get them to enforce demands. Do we even get to be involved? Our war contribution. Oh, we are contributing a lot. We are. What Hopefully. happens if we click enforce demands? Ah, we'll right. not accept. Okay, that's fine. But what will happen is that Prince Bledin will gain the contested title for this land. Prince Bledin. We'll get the Principality of Dehubarth, get 100 fame, and allies will share 100 renown based on their contribution. And he will increase his opinion of his allies based on their contribution. And I think we've done a pretty good job. Yeah, totally. Okay. Off we go. We're helping! We are helping. And I think if we take this city... Yeah. Um, um, that's it for him. Yeah, undoubtedly. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's sped up immensely. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Right. Hey! Okay. Right. So someone did some sermons they shouldn't have done. Someone did some sermons they shouldn't have done. Oh, boy. Inefficient census. Oh, no. <laughs> we have no idea who or how many You're, Our people. stewards, poor stewardship skill caused this problem. Okay. Hold on a second. Dolgus. It's Dolgus. Dolgus. You know, I really think at this point. <laughs> <laughs> We're playing with fire. Because he really gooshed it up. I'm going to be honest. We don't know who lives here anymore. We don't know and who lives here. And we're losing here. taxes. So maybe, hey. How would I give... Is it in here? I think it's here. I think it's this button. Appoint a steward. Hmm. And this guy's stewardship is incredible. It's better than our current stewards. Well, let's... See. Where is stewardship? It's... It's the last one. No, it's oh, the no, middle it's one. one. Okay. Eight. Okay. Slightly better. And then he would hate us way less. Way less. Um. Did our aunt leave? Be be Bebin. <laughs> aunt Bebin. Oh, Aunt Bebin. I think she did leave. It would be risky. Because. It would also be funny. It would be funny to be like, you gooshed up our census so bad. I'm going to appoint a man who hates me. <laughs> <laughs> to take your place. It is interesting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Should we do it? Yeah, why not? Uh -huh. Ah, so we're sort of going to create oh, a trade. Oh, so it is a trade. Interesting. And he is... He is our vassal. He runs Innes. 
So how can I make him better at what he does? Well, what we could do in theory is revoke Desmond's title to Desmond, make Dolgus the vassal of Desmond. Oh, interesting. And, like we do a complete... A complete switcheroo. <laughs> Just send him after Desmond as punishment. Or is it punishment? Or is it like a lateral well, what can trade? We do? I wonder if, if we could do an even more... I mean, he would hate it if we revoke his title. He really would. I think he would hate it even more than putting him on the council would give us. Oh, I'm so mad at you. I cannot believe you goofed up the... <laughs> what if I just imprisoned him? I, he won't... He won't like that. Um, but, like, I truly don't understand how... Something I wish we could see would be, like, a list of the buffs and debuffs, where it's yeah. like, oh, we have this in our favor and we have that. That's causing us problems. Oh, he's the sadist. He is the sadist, yes. I think he mostly only likes us because... He's on the council? On the council what plus ten. What is vassal? No, he'll hate us way more if we... Maybe we just let it play out. Yeah. I'll, let's just see what happens next. But you're on thin ice, Dolgus. Oh. 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 Yeah, Great. we're done. We've, we're, we've, yes. we've won the siege. We are... We've taken Caradog. And four others. Great. Freaking loser. Can't believe you would allow this to happen. You have such terrible diplomacy. Oh. <laughs> do you know what it is? What? God doesn't want us to do a census. God doesn't want us to do a census. You guys goofed it up together. Okay. Should we just try and enforce a claim here? Win the war? Uh, let's see. Everyone goes home? Yeah. Will not accept. What the hell? Is it because... Right. He... Only the... Only... Only... Okay, This guy can do it. But we've done what we can do, and I think we can now send our boys back? Or we just... Ah, jo here we ah, go. Great. Here we go. We won the war led by Prince Bledin, Ab Sinfin of Gwynedd, against Lord Merdud, Ab Owain of Sarah Dion. Prince Bledin gains the contested title. Hooray! Gains 100 fame. Our war contribution, incredible, 88%. <laughs> we did most of the war, honestly. Our opinion with Prince Bledin of Gwynedd goes up 88. Great. He, this dude loves us. He loves us. And he would do us, anything for us. And he's a little frightened of us. He's a content gentleman. Yeah, con content gentleman. Contentleman. Oh, his wife doesn't like us. Doesn't though. care for us much. Um. Maybe she's jealous of our close relationship. Oh yeah. And we get eighty-eight um, prestige, which I think helps get us back that prestige that we lost from our goofed census. Come home, boys. Um, we also have a question mark. Oh. Huh. Tooltip modes are new to CK3 and control how you access highlighted text and info in tooltips. Yeah. Yes. Oh, interesting. I like having them lock. Oh! Oh. As I woke this morning and saw rays of sunshine falling through my window, it took me a moment to realize I had slept soundly for the first time in weeks. I did not wake up coughing once. Oh, the toad cure, it fixed me. The toad me. cure. The toad cure, it fixed me. Was that what you wanted me to do? No, I was asking if you wanted to have the mouse. Oh, yeah, but instead I just leaned into the microphone. Yeah, all um, right. I am glad to be well again. I will just run to the loo, though. Yeah, sure, go on then. Um, I won't be long. Well, 
Oh, we had a baby in our prison? Was it one of the people we captured? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. Hold on any baby decision making until I get back. Okay. How do I see my prison? Is there something? Is it in the military? My acquaintance. Oh, man. Oops. This Welsh baby. Oh, man. We let this Welsh baby die on our watch. Um... Ah, prisoners. Okay. If we negotiate this release of a baby. Interesting. So the babies are equally. have equal dread losing capacity. Uh huh. Okay. Hey. Hey. We discovered some I little... figured out where our prisoners are. They're t they're like kind of a part of our court. There's our court and then our prisoners. Great, 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 great. So we have four prisoners who are alive. Great. They've been in prison for three months. Caradog, the guy. Yeah. Bartosh. Yep. Edna Wayne. Yep. And Angarad. Yeah. So these two babies we have. One is five. One is four. Old Grasper. Um. We can only ransom one of them. Wh why? Because he's the um, lord, the vassal now of the king. We'll just be like, oh, okay. Is uninterested in these three, including the babies. Okay. Well, we can free them. But if we free them, we lose dread. And our ah. dread is really helping us out in um, On some instances. On account of how we're frightening. On account of how we're frightening. Right, like, um, because when I think about Desmond and how he's frightened of us, does it, that help or it does. hinder? It makes him less likely to act against us. Yes. Why are all these people plus six? That's interesting. Because we have similar virtues. We're all temperate. Um... Here's the other interesting thing I found. Yes. Caradog is an exceptional steward. Oh. And so I was like, could I recruit him? Oh my God. Yes. And then execute this guy as a way to maintain my dread. Yeah, absolutely. This sounds like Crusader Kings. Okay. Should I execute him first? Yeah. And then, okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, he might no. Know. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. How, can we, how many of these things can we check? Oh, we won't lose Dread. It'll just be that he joins the court. He, he, will, he will like us less because... No, he'll like us more. Oh, Caradog will lose 15 opinion but because... in total... In total, yeah. Can we click multiple of these? He's He won't... I, let me get a favor on him. Which might be worth it, because we are about to give him... Yeah. A big... But, yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm content with this. What do you think? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right. Uh... Ooh, can we ransom him now? No. No. So... Where do you go? Because it still seems to say that he's in jail. I think that it's working through the system. <laughs> oh, okay. Ah, yes. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Minus 52. Okay. I have no choice but to accept your conditions for my release. Farewell. Okay. And then I bet another one's going to pop in as like... To the vile so-and-so, I have joined your court. Do you think? Yeah. There he is. Ah, hello. Okay. Not a fan, but... Not a fan of us, but we do have a hook on him. We sure do. Until tens... We have a hook on him for ten years. Wow. 
fascinating. Okay, and now, because we still have our 10 dread, do we wish to um, execute anybody or negotiate their release? I think we should free a baby. We should absolutely free a baby. It's wild that we can't ransom. Why is that grayed out? Because he just can't, can't be, he ransomed. be ransomed. But then why is that one... Is it that they're too young? But he won't accept it. Unimportant. Oh, God, that's so good. Well, I will negotiate the week of this baby. Oh, yeah, we'll gain a... And I'll gain, we'll a, gain hook a hook on, on that baby. baby. What's our dread at? Ten. Still? Yeah. Where is our dread value? Right here. So because we we oh, let let's them let it go run and see how it goes. Sure. Cause that might go down because we let them go. I don't think so. Let's see. Ooh, nice. Ah. <laughs> how old is this baby? This baby is four. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. Farewell. Wait, our dread has gone up for some reason. Interesting. God, this Maybe is it's because of lots of, of stuff is happening. I know. Once. Oh, we do gain dread slowly, right? I think so. I, don't know. I wish it would say monthly change plus point five. Yeah, great. Yeah. Rest for the weary. Sweaty, tired, and in need of food, a long day of training with the troops is coming to an end. How old are we now? 42. As we search for a place to camp, we spot an old and abandoned castle in the distance. Running a hand through my hair, I declare, This is where we will make our camp tonight. The sun is setting, and with every step toward the ruin, it looks more ominous. Before long, the soldiers are whispering about ghosts. What do we do? Well, what are our massive eruptions here? Let us venture inside. I'm sure there's treasure to be found. Who knows, Who knows what you'll we'll find, find inside? inside? Let us raise the tents outside. It's time to rest. You gain heightened soldier so morale, morale for, for ten, ten years. years. But... But what's in there? Maybe ghosts. Maybe ghosts. Also, we are a forest fighter. We're a skilled yeah. tactician. We're impatient, wrathful, and temperate. I think we think I we think, can kill ghosts. Yes, we do think we can kill ghosts. Oh... Searching for the unknown. Darkness, dampness, and desolation reign inside the castle, and all traces of life are gone. Peering up decaying stairs, I spot what might be the remnants of lush tapestries and old paintings. Looking down spiraling steps, I see only darkness, reaching far down into the ground underneath the castle. We search the upper floors. Possible stewardship outcome. 57% chance we find a great treasure. Uh -huh. You gain 75 or we find trinkets and baubles. You gain 15. Or... And, or... Possible outcome. percent chance you gain the fear brave. Or we could lose 20 dread and gain 40, 40 stress. A 20% chance. Oh my god. What does brave do? Oh, wow. Likelihood of dying in battle, 100%. Much more. Hmm. Huh. Oh. We also become hotter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. We've got to do it, right? Right, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And then, and then here's what I think we do, right? We do it, we lose our dread, then we immediately come back and we execute this man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think we're going to lose dread? Uh, I mean, if we do. If we do, yes. Okay. What's stress? Tell me about stress, video game. Oh, stress is more likely to mental um, well-being. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna. It's what um, can kill you. And it increases your stress level. Yeah. Okay. I wonder where it is on this screen. A mystery. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't appear. Maybe until... we're not stressed yet. Yeah. Well, let's let's make ourselves Ooh. stressed. Yes. Yay! <laughs> and, and then this <laughs> and then five year old. Baby. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Should we kill him? Uh. Farewell. Um. 
I don't think we need to kill him. I don't think we need to. Why will you he not? He doesn't accept want him. This? He's unimportant. Okay, I'd like that to go away. Will not accept unimportant cuts. Yeah. Okay, fine. But we can negotiate his release. And, we could. That's uh, true. We could recruit him this? and get a hook on him. Let me can. Sure. Because I want to learn about him. Barking dog. He is a charismatic negotiator, a drunkard, uh, stubborn, gregarious, and compassionate. Oh, he seems like a nice guy. He's a good diplomat, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, go on then. You have to stay here, though. Ooh, we should deal with the Marshall Point. We should close all these windows and then start. Yeah. But how great that now we're brave. Farewell, Bartage. And should you ever try and um, follow through on the fact that you don't like me, oh, I'll call in that favor. I think some weird stuff's going on in Wales. Oh no, that's fine. It's basically just... It's just that this area has and there's been, some war is happening now in the north. under the under Gwynedd control. He loves us. Oh, and his wife now likes us too. I think he went home and was like, you will never guess... <laughs> who helped us out so much? Who is the vassal of this of this region that we fought? Oh, for? and their daughter likes us more. Oh, great. Um, who is the vassal of this area here? If we go into click out of this menu, yes, and then highlight um, it's the it's the guy. It's the guy we took it from. Yes, he is. The, he's now the vassal. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if we could ask him for something. De Hubeth? No, no, no. The guy. The guy who loves us. Gwynedd. Yeah. Sure. I bet we could. Um. What is request claim? Petition? No. Yeah. What is the personal stuff? Offer guardianship. We could. Hmm. No. I just sort of want to be able to say, like, look. Well, if this is. Um. I mean, we could send him a. I think it's just like, hey, we're buds. Yeah, we're buds, and maybe he'll. I think the only way to really sort of um. Continue this alliance is to be like, hey, is there anybody? That we could arrange a marriage between. Yeah. I don't think we need to worry about that at the moment. It doesn't seem like there are any valid characters anywhere. Uh, in the game. <laughs> well, between our court and his. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's do this. So, we have one point that we can put into... Serve the crown or stalwart leader. Natural mm. Dread plus 15, Prowess plus 4, and reduces the risk of commanding armies. Oh, it makes it, e it, makes it easier for us to command armies. Less mm. dangerous. Which is good, because we are 100% more likely to die in battle. Oh... I think, oh, interesting. God, it's so cool. So do we want control or do we want... I mean, we did just spend a lot of time wondering whether or not we should kill a man. We did. So I do wonder if we do go for Serve the Crown, boost our dread, and just become yes. monstrous. Yes. We could become monstrous or we could... I just... Like, my heart wants to go into, like, scheming court But we're not a very good schemer. But we are not a yeah. very good schemer. There's the lots, of, lots of future potential Crusader Kings business to do. So true. Okay. Okay, I have a proposal. What's your proposal? Um, could you go real quick into the um, schemes mode? Yep. And then hooks and secrets? Okay, so these are our hooks that we have. On the babies 
and the previous prisoners. Right. So I'm looking at Connacht. Yeah. And I'm going. You mean Caradog? No, I mean Connacht. Oh, yeah. I'm going. See, this all looks quite good to it me. It looks very interesting to me. And we don't have any claims on there, but we could start making one up. Mm. Or killing people. He only has one son. He does, yes. So we've got everything we have in our duchy. It's like we don't have any de jure titles or claims. Yeah, there's nothing that we can... But we it, could start it, making up some stuff, right? Right, exactly. So, But that would be saying to our bishop... Or hey, saying to our spymaster... Who doesn't like us. Wait, is it our bishop the one who fabricates claims? Yes. Yeah. It's right here. So, all right. Hello. See what you can do about this. Amazing. Great. That's happening. Um, let's see what else our various... Hey, steward. Uh, well, I don't think we're building anything. Just collect some taxes. And what is our marshal doing? He's currently organizing levies, but he could train commanders and he could increase control in county. Fine. Do we want to swap out our steward for the guy we freed, who's amazing? Well, that's the thing. We would need to... I, I would prefer to start... Um, yes. Uh, I'm not going to do that. We know. And I'm going to hold on to this. This is the one that we can go to war about. Yeah, but yeah, it's one of our... But do we want to try and gain Connacht first and then make our way up there? Right, right, right. So what I would like to do is... Domnal. Forget how we acquired you. Um, Caradog. I would like to... He might leave, but I would like him to be on our side. Could we grant him a title? Let's see. Uh, these are the ones we have. So, so no. no. Okay, Jack. Kibby. Do we want to make this man that we captured from Cardigan our steward, or do we want to make Earl Murdoch Mac Carthac of Desmond our steward, who is less good a steward? But is a, maybe a more interesting character. Well, what we could do, right, is we have him be our steward for 10 years. And then maybe by then, uh, Cardog will be m more amenable. Yeah. And we can um, swap him out again. See how, see how it goes. Yeah, if Cardog is still here. But they'll warn us if he's going to Yes, leave. well, and I also think we could take Cardog and we could give him a quick gift. Of money. Of money. To maybe buy us some time, literally. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Uh, could you go into the realm view real quick? Um, sure. And so our crown authority is one right now. Yes. Okay. What happens if you go over to two? Right, C. Uh, so at this point, we can start revoking titles and stuff. So, oh, can we buy that? Yeah. By, okay. Um, maybe we should. Yeah. Yes. People will like it slightly less, but it's not terrible. No. And we do have quite a, quite a bit of renown. At least 5% of levies and 2% of income. Yeah, it might make our stuff go up as well. It did. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. So now we can start revoking people's titles. Yes, here it is. May incur tyranny unless you have a cause for revocation. Uh, we could fabricate some nonsense about him if needs be. Um... Well, we can't right now because our current fab, like our once again, our spy master is not. What is our spy master doing? Maybe we should make him do stuff. He's kind of. 
We could make him be ask him but, to. So the reason that he's not doing anything is because he doesn't like us. I and mean, what we wanted to do was get him to like us and before then, okay, cool. we did anything with cool, him. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but do we still want to make Desmond our steward? Totally. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. So we go to our council and we say, Listen, listen you screwed the Dolgus, census up. You screwed the census so bad. Yeah, whatever. Get out of here. <laughs> We're doing something else now. Uh, and then... Yes, please collect taxes. Yeah, so it looks... If we increase development in the county rather than collect taxes... I don't think we're building anything that needs development, right? That's true. But it does say it can increase control. Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Interesting. And so it's minus 15. I think mostly the only thing that's really going to change. Is that war the score The war is thing is going to go down and the longer that we're um, in control of this. Yeah. Okay. I love that sound effect of the... Um... It's like a scroll. Yeah. Or like a book being closed yeah. or, or opened, I guess. So swaying our spy master, Tortle, work. Tortlebach, Tortlebach. Um, it's going to take about three months more, and then we'll see if that works. If not, I truly don't. I wonder if we can make our wife the spy master, or if she's just always. No, no, we could make our wife the spy master, hundred percent. Um, well, let's see how this goes, and then, and then maybe we, we were should... also going to give. Oh. Interesting. Well. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Um, dismiss or appoint as court physician. That's all we can do. Click to open barbershop. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Fine. Let's just give a gift. Oh, I bet the knights are made in the military menu. Oh. Oh, we already have six knights. Right. Click to manage. I wonder how we... Force. Oh, boy. Interesting. <laughs> this is like when war starts, we're like, you are fighting. It's like... People who are allowed can choose whether or not to. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. Dolgus is currently a vassal. He is. He's the mayor of Venice. But what if we gave that? To care dog instead. <laughs> he will hate us. Yeah, that's true. Ugh. But I tell you whose title we could revoke. You really want to? Yeah, whose? The Norwegian guys. <sighs> he... I don't think we should, but I think we can. We could, yeah. But I don't think we're powerful enough to... Do it without consequence? Yeah. Um, so let's... Okay. So... She loves us so much. She sure does. That's great. Um... He's a great spy master. Why don't you like us? No, he likes us a bit more now, though. Um... Why doesn't he like us? Title claimant... Whoa. Oh. Hang on. So he has an unpressed claim to Tommond. And is that what's making him upset? It must be. You want to murder him? Well, no. 
I don't think we should replace him with our wife. I think he'll just go, well, I've got all this time on my hands. Yeah, but what if we give her a boost to intrigue? Yeah, I think so. And then we try and sway him again? Or should we take should we take that energy to Cause now that it's done Maybe we oh. we could try and sway Caradog. Yeah, alright. What's our chance here? Ninety five percent. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's do that. Can we also get our spy doing something in Connect? Uh let's see. Let's uh open our council. Um so our options are support, support schemes, schemes, disrupt, disrupt schemes, schemes find, find secrets. secrets. That might be... Hey, can you find secrets in... Um, who is the guy? Who is the boss? If we zoom in, will it show us the capital? Yeah, great. So it's just find secrets in Connect. Yeah. And that is just sort of... If there are any there, we'll learn them. Yeah. Does it say how long it will take? Uh, yeah. Uh, in the... In, uh... uh... Oh, it's just sort of happening. Yeah. Wow. It might say in the bottom right, under this menu. No. But our sway scheme... takes longer. Uh-oh. Oh! We should pause and start dealing with this stuff. Yeah. Okay, they're giving us a, t a tutorial, so. Mm, we're gonna deal with this first. You've had a faction form against you, but do not panic. You still have time to set things right. Yes. Vassals and counties joined factions when they are dissatisfied with your rule. To we counteract just gave this, this guy a seat on our council. You can inc no, not this guy. Oh, this is the Norwegian guy. Yeah. Hmm. Um, vassals and count blah blah blah. To counteract this, you can increase their opinion of you or try to become dreaded. To avoid oh, factions, we recommend that you increase your vassals' opinion of you, pace your conquests, and make sure that any claimants more popular than you suffer unfortunate accidents. You will often have time to appease your vassals before the faction presses its demand. Use this time wisely. Counties with a low popular opinion tend to join the peasant faction. Unlike other factions, this faction will rise up no matter if they have a chance of winning or not. That's it. So interesting. Sometimes you simply have to put peasants in their place. That sucks. Okay. So, let's go into the factions menu and see what's going on. Let's. He wants lower crown authority. Uh huh. There's only one person in the faction, so it's basically he Ragnvald said, is saying, "It's me, the Liberty faction." So we're currently trying to find secrets. Um, so we can't murder him. And he's too weak. Just no. Uh, uh, we can murder him, but it. Uh, I think a murder scheme is a different scheme. Oh, only fourteen percent. Oh, who'll succeed? Sorry? Who will succeed him? There's a baby. Uh. I think it's how do the I baby. See? I think it's here and then. Uh, it's the title. You click the, um, the shield of the title. Oh, okay. Oh. oh this menu. Really? Okay. So it's the baby. And will then be inherited by the lady. baby and then the old lady. His mother. His mother. And then the line will die out by the looks of things. So. That's interesting. Hmm. We could. We could start it and cancel the scheme. We could. We could. Um. Will our chances be higher if our spy master is involved, uh... or should we just go to? war against him? I or is that going to be an act of tyranny? I think he's too weak to do anything for the yes, time being. Yes, he is would, too weak to do anything I would anything hold right on now. and see what happens. Because it's literally just him. If he starts recruiting other you people... You can prevent a vassal from joining a faction. Off you. Good. Oh, good. Because we have our new steward. Yes. So, we can prevent a vassal from joining a faction by making them your friend, lover, prisoner, or ally. 
They will also refrain from joining factions if they are terrified or if you have a strong hook against them. So this guy, we would I would like to ensure does not join I don't think he will. I don't know if you can join factions. He's like a he's in a whole different Offer a, vassalage. He will not accept. <laughs> So funny. Base reluctance. It's just I don't want to. Yeah. Um. Um. I would wait and see if he okay gets anybody else involved. They said that you should probably try and stop it before anything happens, but I'm I'm always a fan of wait and see. He's still just too weak. Look, we can flatten him. We can flatten him, yes. Who else is in here? Oh, this is a different county. It's this county. It's the one. The steam oh. is coming from here. Yes, but I wanted to stop him from aligning with anybody in a different... I wonder if they would. I don't, I don't know. You think it's a waste of time to try and... I don't know if barons... Mm -mm. It's just vassals, yeah. And do we have any other? I don't think we do. He might just abandon it after a while. Okay. Ooh. If there are any, he'll find them. Ooh, find us some secrets. Ooh. Okay. Ugh. It's like, was that the 25% chance firing, or... She's having... Give him another go. Okay. It's like, and a notable guest has arrived. Yeah, who's our notable guest? Whalerim von Brabant. Great, great coat of arms. Hey. I assist. Wow, look at this dude's traits. Oh boy. Goodness. Cynical, sadistic, and brave. Um, what should we do while he's in court? What can we do? Oh, recruit to court. Oh. Hey. How much will we pay him? 75. It is interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Go on then. Neat. Okay. How are you feeling? Treacherous atheist. Where are you located? He was Welsh, right? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What if we arranged a marriage? I really want to invest in this guy. Yeah. He won't seem to like us anymore. <laughs> How are you feeling? A little hungry. Yeah. I think... You wanna pause for lunch? Yeah, for, 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 for a little more lunch. Yeah, we can stop the recording. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, like a save? Yeah. 
Oh, I don't know that we need to exit. No, we can just pause. But we should stop the recording. Oh, yes.